51-33, Hawks come away with the win over Winnesquam. So we got the final four win, and now we're going to the championship on Saturday, which is huge. Shaley, heart and soul of this team, had a great game. Um, I have 23 points for you, not official tally, but I also have 10 rebounds, double-double. So pretty solid performance. Um, just wow at the season you've had and at the season that the team has had. Thoughts? Championship. I'm just so excited because last year we didn't get, we got kicked off at this round. So I'm excited for this new chance and to be with this team because we've grown very much together. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So your ability as a scorer has grown throughout the season and I mean really your whole high school career, but we've seen you take it to another level. I feel like today, like you had seven assists, you created opportunities for everybody else on the court and then you're solid on the boards. I mean, 10 rebounds, that's pretty impressive considering there's a lot of players out there who are calling you today. Um, I just, just want to do what I can do for this team because I know everyone has their own potential and I just want to be able to let the crowd know what they have and be able to do myself, do it for myself too. Yeah, you, Liz, and Sid have really led the way all season. Unfortunately, Liz got an injury today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, she's going to be okay for Saturday. Um, but yeah, what, what, do you, what has it meant for you to have her as a friend and have her like be a big part of this team the last couple of years and help you lead this team to where you're at now? Um, it's definitely nice, and it's really nice to be able to have this journey with her for her last year. And with me and Sid, we've been doing this for a long time now, so it's just nice to be able to have this experience with this whole team, too. Thanks, Shay. Thank you. Sid. Yeah. So, they had 19 rebounds for you. I had 21. So, so we'll see. But I think they might have missed a couple. Anyway, so, but still, dominant performance on the boards. I mean, really, really incredible stuff. So that's what's allowed you guys to get so many second chance opportunities, expand the lead, put pressure on them, and ultimately in the second half we saw once they had pressure on them, they just were not able to come back from that. So what you did was key for your team today. Well, what is your outlook on this whole team, this season, and really today in this performance you had? I'm just like, I'm just soaking in the moment. I'm so excited and going into the season, I honestly, I didn't know I didn't know if we were going to be out in the first round, if we were even going to get to the playoffs, because we had so many changes going into the season. And yeah. We have just worked so hard to get to this point, and I just, I'm speechless, really. Yeah, huge challenge lies ahead. We're not sure who's going to win this. Um, that's going to be decided in a couple hours between St. Thomas and Kearsage. I mean, what is the mindset going into that game, regardless of the opponent, on like, what can we do best to prepare for a win? Defense definitely is always our mindset, so, I mean, if we get St. Thomas, we know they have a lot of size, but I'm sure we'll set up a good game plan. If if we get Kearsarge, they also have a little bit of size, but I think coach both the coaches do a really good job preparing us for whoever we're going to face, and I think I think we'll be as well prepared as we can. Absolutely, I'll talk to Paige now. <laughs> Take a much larger role this season. Um, stepped up a lot at varsity, and I mean, after the game, we saw that you were just so excited to be have this opportunity to go to the championship. What's this mean for you? It's incredible. I, like Sid said, yeah. it was a lot of changes. We lost seven or eight last year. We lost a lot of people, but it's been absolutely incredible. I can't believe it. At the start of the season, a lot of people had somewhere between like the five to eight or nine range for where they expected you guys to finish. And then with the injuries to Keegan and Katie, that dropped even lower. But you guys fought for it. How do you ignore all the noise, what everybody says out there, and just focus on playing your game? Well, we kind of practiced that in practice as well. But I don't know. At least for me, I just can't hear it. I just focus so much on the game that I just focus on winning and ignore everything else. Yeah. Well said. Uh, I'm going to go to Zoe now. Zoe, yeah. good performance today. So. I mean, you had six points, uh, seven rebounds, unofficial stats, so pretty solid stats um, for you today, and considering the minutes you got, you made the most of all of them out there. I mean, what's your outlook on this game, and how do you make the most of those minutes when you get thrown into a big game like this? Um, I think it was definitely a great game tonight. I think our defense was awesome, and we definitely kept our composure well with their very loud crowd. But when I get in there, especially when Liz got hurt, I just like... I just do as much as I can. I use 100% of my energy. Um, I like see the opportunities. I try to do the best I can, really. 
Yeah, thank you. I'll go to Helen. Yes, Helen. Helen, I mean, something I noted just calling your games on JD the past couple of years was that you were developing really, really quickly defensively, and you you're averaging like three steals per game, I think, on JD the past couple of years at one point. We just saw you grow and grow as a defensive player. Tonight you had four rebounds, so huge on the glass for the team to get those other opportunities and came in big with the points that you did score. I mean, what has this whole development process been like for you as a player to get to now? Well, to get to now, after we had so many injuries and sicknesses, I just knew that some people had to step up. And since when I wasn't starting and I just I was able to watch everyone on the court and then when Keegan and Katie got injured, I knew that we had to step up defensively, offensively. So I just put 100% of my energy in practice and in games just to get the ball and hopefully just go all the way. Yeah. So final thing I want to ask you is, you know, when you have somebody like Lauren McDonald from Winnesquam, who you see like, you know, your first year up at varsity and everything, and you see somebody like that who's a veteran with so much experience here on the other team, you get intimidated? How do you deal with that? I definitely get a little intimidated when I see someone who's like averaging 20 to 30 points a game. But after just, I kind of just try and zone it all out, and I just want to be in the moment and just try my hardest to just help this team and just help myself and just be the best player I can be. Yeah, thank you, Helen. So, uh, it's my birthday on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, guys, we have, so, to, we have to go to you. No. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better. All I care about is sports. I think everybody knows that. I care about sports and I care about people, and this is a great group of people, and uh, I'm really fortunate to have been a part of your team for the past couple seasons, so thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.